You know, I just want to say I think it's great that the, the town is embracing uh, public arts. Um, I think that uh, really adds a lot to this community over other communities in the area or other communities statewide, nationwide. Uh, you know, it brings Blacksburg a special place. And, um, and, and to be able to, to share my talent and have other people enjoy it in such a wonderful community to begin with is just, uh, I think, excellent. I am a uh, full-time wildlife biologist for uh, a group called the Conservation Management Institute, and they are a research uh, institute within the College of Natural Resources. So I do all sorts of biological inventories, mostly for wildlife species, but also for plants, animals, and other organisms, writing management plans, doing actual surveys, doing some trapping. I do some educational components for Virginia Tech and Fish and Wildlife uh, employees and students, uh, teaching them the techniques of the field. The uh, artistic stuff I do sort of on the side, so as to exercise the other side of my brain. I had always been interested in art. I did it, I did it growing up. As a kid, I was always drawing pictures along with Captain Bob and then the, the infamous Bob Ross with his happy little clouds. Um, and then I actually uh, had done it a lot in, in high school, it was way back in the day, and then actually attended uh, Syracuse University um, for a collegiate degree in art. And then I uh, realized it was very hard to make a living as an artist, so I switched over to wildlife biology afterwards, got a degree in that, and realized it's awfully hard to make a living as a wildlife biologist, so now I do both and I seem to be enjoying myself and I get to do fun projects such as this mural. This, uh, this mural was uh, a project that the town of Blacksburg and uh, the 16 Blocks art magazine had been working on for several years to try to uh, get funding and public approval and governmental approval to do some uh, murals downtown. Um, finally, all their hard work has sort of paid off and uh, I was the first uh, artists to be brought on board um, to help beautify Blacksburg and um, hopefully someday maybe make it an arts destination for people. If you want to venture a guess, you can venture a guess. I've got everything from 36 hours to 250 hours. And so far what you see here represents about eight hours. So we'll see how we progress from there. It's, uh, I'm using pretty high quality uh, professional grade acrylics. Um, they'll hold up uh, in the UV light and in the in the weather and then when I've finally completed it I'll put an even uh, tougher protective coat on the outside so hopefully as long as as long as it will withstand it should it should stand the test of time um, how long to say for sure I'm uncertain but I hope it brings enjoyment to the town for many years to come um, and another uh, base that we're aiming at with with this mural here, it's a natural history mural, um, which is actually a cutaway of Struble's Creek, which runs underneath the town. So I'm representing the creek coming out of the fire department uh, control valves over there. And all the species that will be included on this mural are native to this area. So it would be a representation of what probably this exact location would have looked like before the town got here. So I plan on having every species labeled um, in different seasons when you're likely to find it. So it'll be an educational component for people walking down uh, the street to be like, oh, I have that tree in my yard. What is it? Oh, okay, that's a sumac, for instance. This is a sycamore. Here is going to be Rudbeckia and black-eyed Susans and purple cone flowers, and there's going to be all sorts of critters. And what I really want is for people to learn about the organisms and their surrounding areas um, but then also to be able to find something new every time they look at this piece. So it's not the same old mural, maybe sometime they'll come by and they'll notice there's a bird in the tree, or they'll notice there's a certain butterfly on the thing. So I'm really striving for some of that educational component as well in this piece. Mm -hmm.